Hey, Shannon. Hi. Hi. How hi. are you? I'm doing fine. How about you? Doing great. Thank you. Can you introduce yourself? Well, hi. I'm Shannon Esmanzano. I am 16 years old, standing 5 feet and 11 inches. I am the youngest and tallest candidate, and I am your candidate number 23 for Miss World Philippines 2021. Well, congratulations. Thank you. All right. So what's keeping you busy today? Well, for today, we have an endorsement shoot for Taviant, and I am here with my team at A Plus Studio here in Mandaluyong City. All right. So what do you love about Taviant? Well, what I love most about Taviant is their motto, their advocacy, or what they believe in. Besides being a very beautiful product, their packaging is so nice and neat. Their product believes that women empowerment, about mental health, about how mental health and makeup connects with each other, especially in this time of the pandemic. Mm, okay, nice to hear that. And how long have you been using makeup? Well, to be honest with all of you, I've been using makeup just recently because I am a girl who don't actually care about what she looks like on an everyday basis for 14 years of my existence. I am an on-the-go schoolgirl. So when I joined modeling industry, that's when it all started. That's when I fell in love with makeup. So anyway, so what do you prefer? Would you like it bare face or with makeup on? Well, to be honest, it depends on the situation. I prefer bare face, especially when I'm just at home. But when the hectics and the on-the-go project starts with the Miss World pageant, I believe that it's always a glam-up, doll-up situation because you always need to be prepared with the cameras and the medias because it's everywhere. That is right. Being prepared is okay. And can you show us your favorite product of Taviant? Well, my favorite product of Taviant is the lipstick, the lip spell. It's on the shade of 41 because the lipstick is actually a vivid matte color that meets utmost of the comfort because it's long wearing, light bearing, and lightweight with a very nourishing formula. But I can see that you're not wearing any lipstick on it. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's a it's just my glossy lip balm because I'm going to be wearing or showcasing you guys the shade of this lipstick on the next layout. So, see you! You want to catch me with the greed in your words Did your best to scare me off Try to put to rest my voice Try to make me think I don't have much of a choice Wow, Hello. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. I Great. appreciate that. All right. So now, can you tell us what are the products that you've used? Sure. So first, I use this Daily Dust palette of Tevion. It's the on-the-go on palette of Tevion, which is very helpful. It has five shades that can be used as contour, highlighter, and lip and cheek powders. Next. Of course, I use this liquid eyeliner, which is in the shade of Virago. It is smudge proof, long lasting, and waterproof. Next, of course, I use the mascara, which added up to the volume of my eyelashes. And as you can see, it comes in two, which is a smaller brush. And the other one is the bigger brush, which is very helpful for women that they can have the varieties. Next, of course, is the ever so beautiful multi-chromatic palette, which is which have three separate lines. The first line is pressed glitter, second line is metallic, and the third line is multi-chrome. I use the hair loom, the gold digger, and the debutante. As you can see, it's very beautiful. And of course, to end up the look, I use the 41 lip spell. Shannon, so for you, what do you think are the effects um, of makeup to women? Well, first and foremost, makeup boosts confidence of women. They make women very powerful and engaging that when they go out in the public, they can showcase themselves. They can showcase their personality on makeup. They can play with the colors of the makeup and show who they are. Colors represent girls or on who they are, on what they speak about. Like, you can go out and just be you. 
like you will show the world that I am me and I am authentic and no one can replace me. So can you tell us also more about your advocacy? Oh, my advocacy is about teenage pregnancy correlated to education. It is an advocacy that is very close to my heart, especially I am a 16-year-old girl and I am open eyes with what's happening around me. I see many cases of teenage girl that's being pregnant and I am alarmed. It's not something that should be placed like a new normal in the label of the Filipino culture. It is something that people should be alarmed. Why? Because early teenage pregnant mothers became having a low accuracy in education. They have a low attainment because they chose to be mature, to take care of their baby. So I want to raise awareness about it because education is something that no one can take away from you in the future. Can we do some fast talk? Hi! Hello, sure. Okay. Singing or dancing? Singing. Adobo or siniga? Adobo. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Night or day? Night. Pizza or chocolate? Chocolate. Long hair or short hair? Long hair. Instagram or Facebook? Instagram. Hiking or swimming? Both. Okay. Calling or texting? Calling. Bags or shoes? Bags. Okay. Heels or sneakers? Sneakers. Swimsuit or gown? Gown. And then the big question, love life or crown? <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Thinking like as if I have a special someone. Crown, of course. Okay, well, thank you so much. That's it. It thank was you. nice to know you and good luck on your journey. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.